In the recycling industry, metals always have the highest recycling rates and, in most cases, are transformed into other products instead of being discarded. In this process, these ingots and scrap metals are also turned into a true work of art. After arranging these metals in the furnace and heating them, they must first be reshaped so that they can then be easily transformed into another product. At this stage, the heated metal, after being passed multiple times through the rolling mill, consisting of two large and heavy rollers, is transformed into sheets, ready for any further processing. Each time this metal passes between the rollers, its thickness is reduced and its length is increased. Once the metal has reached the desired thickness while still hot and malleable, it is easily flattened and leveled with hammering, so that after cooling it becomes perfectly smooth and ready for further shaping. The flattened and cooled sheets are placed on the CNC table, where the CNC machine uses precise laser cutting to shape them as desired. The CNC machine operates with very high precision and speed, and its risk factor is extremely low, making it arguably one of the greatest human inventions in the industrial field. And with this simple process, this piece is complete. The workpiece is mounted on this machine, which has a hardened steel gear that creates deep grooves or cuts on the metal, while the machine's surface is simultaneously cooled with water to prevent overheating and warping during operation. These grooves must be created on the back and front of the sword blade. We patiently await the final product as the output is highly detailed. Depending on the type of metal alloy, creating these grooves may take time. The depth of these grooves also plays a significant role in this process. For proper and precise shaping, the sword must be fully heated and red hot. For this reason, it is placed in the furnace for a period, and after reaching the red hot state, it is shaped using a mold and hammer with multiple strikes to achieve the desired form. This manufacturing method is not exclusive to this sword. Many tools and even large knives we use today are made using the same process, although more optimized and advanced methods now exist. The expertise of these craftsmen in shaping the metal, entirely by hand with just a single hammer, is truly remarkable. After this stage, our sword blade is fully ready for finishing. The finishing of this piece is carried out in several stages and cannot be completed in just one pass. The first stage, which is currently underway, involves the greatest amount of material removal, with the sword's cutting edge requiring the most. For the initial finishing, the hardest grinding stone is used. After grinding and removing metal shavings, while the blade is still hot, it is quickly cooled with water to help increase the strength of the sword. At this stage, a less coarse grinding stone is used to carefully finish the blade, especially inside the grooves that were created.
like and leave your comments on this video, as it can greatly motivate us to create even more content for you. Thank you for watching. At this stage, a grinding stone with a lower hardness is used again for material removal, gradually bringing the surface of the workpiece to its final finish. As the finishing and grinding process progresses toward the final stages, the roughness of the grinding stone used decreases gradually, and the hardness grade becomes lower. The common point in all these stages is quenching the blade after the grinding process, which is done to increase its hardness. This is nearly the final stage of finishing the blade. After this, the handle is attached and the remaining steps are completed. Only one final grinding stage is performed to sharpen the blade. The sword handle has already been prepared and is ready for attachment. It is connected to the blade using argon welding. Argon welding is a type of weld with very high penetration and also provides great hardness. Three holes are made in the handle, creating a half cover for the grip. Both sides of this handle are joined together using a layer of wooden covering. This method of making the handle is simple, efficient, aesthetically pleasing, and durable. Using the markings on this wooden handle as a guide, it is placed on the drilled metal handle so that three holes can be accurately aligned and attached. A brass wire, which is soft and malleable, is threaded through the holes in the handle. Then both ends are cut and hammered firmly so that the wire flattens and is securely fixed in place. After attaching the half cover of the handle, the handle is ground to remove sharp edges, ensuring it fits comfortably in the hand and has a smooth, rounded finish.
The finishing work is very beautiful and visually striking. After this stage, as mentioned earlier, only the sharpening remains, and then this project is complete. We're glad you've stayed with us throughout this video. Be sure to leave your comments on the video. Liking and sharing it with your friends also helps us reach a wider audience. Wherever you are, may God be with you and protect you. Goodbye.